Chow from the Siena School for Liberal Arts. I'm drawing teacher Lisa Nankin. We've been talking about using linear perspective in our drawings, but you can also consider atmospheric perspective, especially if you're drawing, for example, a cityscape or a landscape, or really any scene that has objects both very close to you and far away. With atmospheric perspective, things that are in the foreground will have more contrast or a greater value range than things that are in the distance. So you could say that things that are closer to you have brighter brights and darker darks than things that are further away. This of course is caused by the atmosphere, which tends to cause things to fade out as you go back into the deeper space. So try this at home, applying atmospheric perspective to your sketches, or better yet, come to join us here in Siena. If you're interested to stay updated for our activities here at the Siena School for Liberal Arts, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.